Hi everybody, um, welcome to another drawing demonstration. Um, what I'm going to do, a couple of things different from my usual uh, little films. Number one, I'm drawing um, in a sketchbook here, a different sketchbook, it's a it's portrait, it's, a, it's still a moleskin sketchbook, um, but it's portrait in orientation. There's the last drawing I did in it, that was a... Um, a photograph seen on Instagram that's a scene in 1975 in Leeds just love that normally I don't do this level of detail but uh, somebody challenged me to do every brick um, and so today's subject is going to be this it's another Instagram um, drawing challenge um, lovely lovely set of interesting buildings and windowscapes. I'm going to see if I can leave mostly leave that in in view so you can keep referring and see where I go wrong. Um, slightly different today. Normally I use these um, uni pins or where's the other one? These micron um, fixed nib technical pens. But for this one I've decided to use this lovely Kaweco Brass Sport fantastic pen with an extra fine nib. The difference is that for my way of doing line and wash, I've got several fountain pens, but they've all got water-soluble ink in them until a pal of mine, the wonderful Brian Ramsey, um, alerted me to this sketch ink, which is from Roa and Klinger from Leipzig. Fabulous jet black ink and it's uh, waterproof. So let's see if it lives up to the expectation. Um, sketchbook portraits, I'm going to draw across a double page spread, which I, I kind of like. I know a few people actually said in the past, why not use, let, right, let's get this going, why not use a. Um, a landscape one but I I like the uh, I like the fact you go across the spread and this one's um, across the spread of a sewn sewn section so I'm trying to be as let's have a look well I have to say the first few strokes of this the ink is flowing really nicely on the page. Right, that goes up there and there's a chimney. Two or three chimneys there, I think. Bring these across. Yeah, um, there's been kind of a break a couple of weeks, I think, since since I last uploaded anything to YouTube, and I apologise for that. The um, thing is, I've been busy with a few commissions, which is really, really good. Uh, and also, over the last weekend, um, along with three other Yorkshire artists, I was busy actually being filmed for a, a new TV series that's going out in August in the UK on, on Channel 5. So they've asked me not to blatantly say what the program is, but it's a revival. Those of you in the UK, it's a revival of a much loved afternoon watercolour painting program. Um, I'm just using the old rule of finger there. And that's that line along there. Lovely, lovely leading with those uh, railings there. Yeah, so, yeah, we had three days of filming in fantastic Yorkshire weather, where a week ago today we were actually, I'm filming this on, on Saturday afternoon, so a week ago, last Saturday, we were on the station 
platform at Gothland Station, which is the headquarters of the North York's Moors Railway Station. It's um, it achieved fame as the station that was used for the Harry Potter films, Hogsmeade Station. Um, and at one point last Saturday, a week a week ago, as I keep saying, I, w I had a fleece blanket wrapped around my knees. I had heated pads in gloves, never painted in gloves before. And um, heated pads in my boots. Really, really cold. Let's put some some of this ink in to indicate windows in case I forget. Right down here, these are obviously all keystones down the building. Um, yeah, and the only wrinkle was to take part in the program that I wasn't allowed to do what I'm doing now. I wasn't allowed to do any line work in ink at all. Um, because it's purely watercolour. And that was a real challenge, I can tell you. Not having the safety net of my comfort zone. Right, there's two cliches in in one sentence. Safety net and comfort zone. But, you know, it, it was a, a real experience. Three lovely other lovely artists took took part um there wasn't really a competitive element yes we had a judge who came around and spouted very wise comments about our work and gave us hints he was a lovely local artist to whitby a chap called adrian wright um and the thing that i found and we all found frustrating was that filming, the filming process, took precedence over over the painting process. So you'd just get going. Sorry, can we stop? Can we take that again? Yeah. Can we do that again? But for close-ups, can we reposition, reshoot? Um, so it's more. It's I think it's for more entertainment. So yeah, it was. It was a little, it was frustrating. And I can say now, and I'm not just being precious about this, the work I produced was by far and away not the best. Um, but you know what, it was within the parameters of the programme. You can judge for yourselves when it goes out. Anyway, right, enough about my foray of into TV things. These, I've realised, looking at the picture, are stacked chairs. Um, and I think there's an arch under there. That says something like Captain, Captain Pub. Anyway, so let's get this, this other arch in. And down here, and then this other lovely leading look that um I'm not copying slavishly i'm I'm just as it as it would be if I were what's under there if I were stood in front i'm I'm just it's an impression. We're not after a photographic high res reproduction, like a technical presentation. So, um, it's more of a sketch. It's all these stones around. This pen's beautiful to to draw with it just flows and the ink's fantastic i just hope it uh, 
Now then, there are a couple of people in there, so I'm going to break with break with my um, usual style and include these people because I think it's I think it'd be quite useful to to, to kind of populate the the drawing. Right, and that's that. So there's all kinds of these stones. Above that one, there's something going on in there. So I assume that's going into there. It's really dark on the photograph. Um, and then you can see the beginnings of another arch through there, which is jet black. So when I come to the colour stage, I'll either fill in this this detail with with paint, um, or if this ink isn't waterproof, you'll see the wonderful technique of drawing tones from ink, which is a great technique, but not not one to find out when what you want is um, nice clean washes. I'm really looking forward to the the colour section of this. Now where am I? So from here up to about there. There we go. So I'll need to extend that roof line. There's a small window up there. And there's, I'm going to go off the edge. But we'll bring that down again there. You can't see it, but I always breathe a sigh of relief when I get a line like, parallel lines like that, and they look something like, um, accurate so let's just put that on there's one window there I love all these stones around the windows it's it's fantastic detail and then there are some revealed uh, keystones there. I'm guess they're going round there. So let's put this see these railings are such a almost textbook depiction of um, two-point perspective. Look, it's, it's amazing. Again, in there, there's something in there. I'll, I'll resolve all this with, with paint. And there's some lettering on there. Um, Captain Pub something, but I'll put that in ink over over the, the, the paint. Um, let's see how these go. Oh, I see, they're just like that. Just like two intersecting semicircles. And then there's another thing there. And is it the same on that side? No, I knew they'd be different. And there they are, so that one's going to go along there. I think on this side, yeah, they're more, more of a diamond pattern.
so I think this at this stage that's enough of the um, I'll carry that one along there enough of the, the pen work so we shall see you on part two when I get to use some of these glorious golds and um, and yellows and before I go let me just show you I've got a confession to make this is actually take two of this drawing take one's there on the prior page and I made a complete mess of the roof line there complete mess so I've abandoned that and started again um, so there we go so there you go thanks for thanks for watching that and um, we shall see you on part two when I add some colour to this so I'm just adding some some lines to make sense of what's going under there I always like to leave a drawing at the line stage as so that it could stand on its own merits as it is um, without any uh, without any um, any colour to explain it. Sorry, the brain's um, not working as perhaps as well as it should do. I need liquid, I think. So there you go. I'll leave that, and we'll see you on the next stage. Take care. Bye.